No way. No way. <laughs>good people it's man like jammer we're out here with the motorola razor 40 ultra um big shout out to motorola for putting me on i just want to do a video going through the external screen alone like fully going through everything you can and cannot do um, a lot of people have been asking me what apps work on it what apps don't work on it so with the apps that i've got um let's let's find out what's really good now for a starter um the security is just like it would be if you was using a phone that does not fold up so man can't go into this phone without putting in my code or without putting in my proper fingerprint as you can see it's not recognizing the fingerprint that's the wrong finger um so let me just put all the code i'll put it on this phone there we go put in your code and boom man is in the phone um stuff that you can do before you put in the code is you can check your battery level by tapping that little circle in the bottom you can check your notifications there you go so you guys i'm trying to do this through the viewfinder fam so the taps are missing let's close that um you can scroll down these quick settings and you can do stuff there like brightness and thing like that as you would normally on your phone if your phone lets you do that um, but to get into any nitty gritty you have to unlock the ting and that's where you come to your wallpaper and I think we'll just start off with the wallpaper first of all because this one isn't exactly Motorola standard edition um, it's just a little quick screenshot from Animal Crossing don't know that game um, if you want to change it you long hold on the screen go into wallpapers and shortcuts and you swipe all the way through these wallpapers these wallpapers are kind of nice actually so you can pick some of these if you really want to but if you're trying to be a little more edgy kind of thing you might want to do a custom wallpaper thing this wallpaper that you select will be different from the wallpaper inside the phone now you want to go to add wallpaper it will ask you to open the phone to do this you cannot do this without opening the phone you might want to go into your private gallery of um screenshots from animal crossing pick any one of them and you know just level it up or you can crop it kind of thing and set that as the wallpaper so obviously next time you shut your phone now um and you go into it where's the thing there we go you got your new wallpaper all set up and thing light work now next up we'll go into apps because a lot of people have been asking me about the apps as you can see right now if i scroll left or right nothing's going on because i haven't got any widgets and the way you get apps on your external screen is you have to add your apps as a widget kind of thing it's a bit weird so you long tap on the screen you go into manage panels once you're in manage panels you look for this one that's got the nine little dots like an app slider kind of thing or app tray and there you go boom you just added apps to your home screen now so when you swipe to the left you've got your apps or you can press on this little shortcut and that will take you to that page now if you don't want this shortcut on your home screen you can go back to the wallpapers and shortcut ting tick off this little option here to show shortcuts and it shows you a little preview that that little button is gone in it so that's moved now so kind of looks more tidy so i'm looking through the viewfinder again <laughs> it kind of looks more tidy on the screen now that you don't have that little app icon there in it now these are apps i've got at the moment as you can see man has only got six of them um these apps are a bit boring but just to show you that they work you've got gmail here obviously that goes into your gmail um like if i wait to go into a ticket you see you can you can read the ticket and everything like that now you can see that this bot bit at the bottom of the screen um is kind of cut off so you've only got this square at the moment but apparently motorola are doing a fix so that you've got the whole screen to use for this option in it or for whatever app you're using kind of thing um but yeah if you want to add more than six apps what you do is you go to this little pencil on the top right and you scroll through your apps now every app here is compatible with your team or motorola at least thinks it is in it so if you don't see it then you know it's definitely not compatible for example the google photos app is not here fam so for some reason that does not work but apps like youtube do work for some reason so i don't know why the google photos app doesn't work that can be something that they might work on in the future but yeah right as of now that ain't working twitter is working whatsapp is working um all them other things are working let me jump into app they got a couple of games here as well they got ocean horn um i don't know if there's a limit to how much you can choose here actually but i love the fact that it only puts a couple of apps at first so you're not getting every single app and having to take all of them off yourself you just put exactly what you want you might want ebay or something like that anyway boom man selected those apps and you can see them if i scroll down here now so if i go into youtube for example um, let me just set up youtube so it guys new phone and that in it um if i go into this go into uh, where's the video that i've just done let's just go here there you go 
Now this is actually a um that's actually a 16 by 9 video, like a TikTok style one. So you can see it's showing it in this kind of square at the moment, which is a bit, it looks a bit mad. It's a bit zoomed in, so it's not really good for like TikTok content like that, but it's trying a little thing. Whereas if I pick a video that is more, let's say for example, 16 by nine aspect ratio, there we go. You see it? This is a normal 16 by nine video and you can see it in a better ratio. I can even press this full screen button. Let me see what happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens when I press the full screen button because that's as full as the screen can go. But I'm pretty much happy with that, fam. That's a nice little, look how the phone just fits in your hand. You're watching a video. It's not really stressful. And that's another thing about this mode, fam. Using the front screen, because the phone is so small, there's no gymnastics. Like I can reach the top of the phone. I can reach the bottom of the phone. You can see all the apps that man's just gone into. Um, it's not hard to use. It's a lot easier to use this part of the phone, really. And last but not least, you can change the clock face itself. So, you know, go into there um, and you've got different clock faces. So these are the lock screen clock faces. So, um, you know, obviously standard procedure. When you lock the screen now, you get it. That's what you see if I'm in it. So you've got these AMOLED ones. That's why they're black. Um, let me just get into there real quick. Let's hold that. Let's go to a different one. There was one interactive one. I'm not sure if it's in, there we go. I'm not sure if it's interactive, but it changes throughout the day. Um, so if I go into this, depending on what's going on, um, it will do something in it. So sometimes it's in bed at nighttime. Right now my battery's low on my phone. So it's got the battery low thing going on. Um, he's kind of cool. He's kind of wavy. Apparently it's supposed to be something about the, the Motorola M sign. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be the Motorola. I can't really interact with him, but he's there. He's chilling, doing its thing. You know, you know the vibes, isn't it? Now I'll just show you some of the other ones there. You got that one there as well. This one and this one. Oh, what's this one, two, three, ting gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Oh, you can choose different colors to love some of them. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of them have more options there. So what's this guy got? He's got no options. This one, no op couple of options as well. That one looks all right too. Yeah, lots of different, lots of different ones, fam. Lots of different ones in it. Now into some of these apps that I haven't shown you. Um, I forgot to show you the camera. Obviously, camera is doing its thing as well. Welcome. Don't forget you can twist the thing. Blah blah blah. It's giving you some things there. There you go. So you can go to photo mode. Um, you got photo booth, mirror mode portrait mode, slow motion, video mode, all them things there. Your battery is running low, some features may be limited. Okay, that's all cool. Um, obviously, you've got all your video options here, so you can change the frame rate, um, change the resolution, beauty mode, stabilization mode, flashlight on, flashlight off, microphone. Um, you can change all of those options, even the field of view. Um, 0.5 to a one-time kind of zoom. All those options you can change from the front screen fam. So the camera is pretty useful on the front. Like it's not just like half the camera app. Most or the majority of the camera app is there to use and like change the settings as you want in it. Right now, let's try and get some of these games open and see what happened. I'm gonna try an easy game like Horizon Chase. Got a little warning here. Horizon Chase is open on like this uh, external display. This app may not be designed for it. Okay, let's try it anyway. Let's see what happens. No way. No way. Man is playing it on the mini screen cuz this is wavy. <laughs> I don't I don't know why I played it on a smaller screen is wavy. This is wavy. <laughs> that this this is it. This is it. This phone is gassing me, I can't lie. No way. No way. The only thing is I've got sausage fingers, guys. So my, my hand, my hand here is taking up the whole screen, but it's, it's a possibility. It could actually happen. No way. No. <laughs> Dead cells works, cuz. But the buttons are so small. Oh my days. Da, 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 da. The buttons are so smooth. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. All right, well, Rolly, you win. You win, you win. Also, we've got to do a little bit of social media and that because that's what you guys are on. We've got Twitter here. Boom, boom, boom. 
obviously you can scroll the thing you can like a little tweet let me like that yeah yeah come on come on one more, one more thing let me let me let me let me give it the retweet come on you see it there you see it there let me, let me like that okay come on my guy Fed lover of tech yeah 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 the 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 social media thing is wavy fam come out of that now go back in um let's go into instagram because i think i'm still sad into that and yeah we're here fam oh but the screen on instagram is small though if they can just extend it a little bit they should be able to extend it a little bit there's a lot of screen that's not being used here fam instagram is looking mad small but i guess i guess it kind of works let me go to um the reels let me see what the reels look like yeah, the reels looking mad. The reels are looking mad. You're only able to see part of it. <laughs> but it it is a small screen, guys. This is, you know, what do you expect in it, fam? Like, I don't know if they can make Instagram and Twitter smaller to fit this screen a lot better. But um, for everything else that you're going to do on it, definitely wavy.